how do you scale speed training to a team? Um, I feel like when it's one-on-one training, it's easy to go, okay, this is athlete A in front of me. Athlete A needs to work on X, Y, and Z. So we're going to really tackle X, Y, and Z. But when you have four athletes, eight athletes, a roster of 12, 20, 30 athletes, just basically just anyone that's more than just one person. How do you scale speed training to meet the needs of a team, a group, uh, or anything really outside of the individual where now you have to consider a lot of different X, Ys, and Zs to improve the athletes in front of you? Yeah. Um, yeah, good question. It's a little easier, obviously, for one-on-one. You got one person, you know what they need, and it's kind of easy to you know, take care of that. But when you have a group with different needs, different sports or whatever the case may be, different abilities. um, The good thing is no matter any of that, any of those factors or variables, everyone benefits and is in need of sprinting. So, I mean, as long as everyone is sprinting, you are getting some benefit. Um, Now, as far as needs, someone may be slower. Someone may play a different sport. There's a lot of different things that could be different, but um personally if I could get a little I guess inside scoop on a lesson let's say I have you know I I train a lot of these college uh, athletes you know uh, male female soccer football lacrosse whatever the case may be in the summer we kind of train together out on the field or the track what I like to do is um, depending on the sport that might determine the distance or the rest time or you know the stance the starting stance um So I'll have everyone sprint, but everyone's distance might be different. Everyone's starting stance could be different. And although we're going and doing things together at the same time, I'm talking to each one individually, always reminding them, you know, relate the drill, relate the exercise or relate my point back to your sport or your needs. Um, and then, you know, while they walk back, cause the rest time is important, right. For everyone, as they walk back, I might talk to, you know, athlete A about, oh, she needs to focus on this because of X, Y, and Z. They go, they do their rep. Athlete B is walking back. I talk to them privately, you know, individually, briefly about some things they need to focus on. I mean, it's tough. It's it's a lot harder than one-on-one, but the good news is everyone benefits from sprints. Everyone benefits from running. So, I mean, as long as they're sprinting and giving, you know, max effort, I'm you'll be all right but it's good to kind of individualize in between during break and set up different stances or distances. Um, Hopefully that answered kind of your question there. Yeah. I think it comes back to two things. One, understand, like speak the sport, but understand that the the concepts of speed stay the same, whether you're a lacrosse player, football player, basketball player. Uh, And then two, if you know the non-negotiables, everyone benefits from that, right? Like everyone needs to be stiffer into the ground. Everyone needs to, like everyone right. can get faster. Like no one's ever, I mean, I would, I mean, Usain Bolt is still getting, trying to get faster, you know, like it's, right. Blake exactly. is trying to get exactly. faster. Exactly. Um, 